Well, Aaron, this is something people in Pacific Grove have been asking for ever since Verizon Wireless first proposed putting a cellular device behind the high school there. And now with this code change, the city could be back in control. In 2018, the signs were up all over town. No cell towers. The movement in response to Verizon Wireless's plan to build a cellular device behind the high school. Worried parents packed city council meetings over the proposal. We, we were listening and we heard the residents' concerns. But in the end, the city could not say no to Verizon. The site is in the public right away and federal communication law gives the company the okay to build. But in the future, it won't be so easy for wireless companies to do the same if the city continues to change its code. This is part of an effort by the city to um, create more local control over the installation of uh, equipment in the public right-of-way. Pacific Grove is taking a two-pronged approach. It first passed a rule requiring public utilities get a permit to install wireless devices, and now it's introducing more code that would require they also get an encroachment permit to build in the public right-of-way. This is part of an ongoing effort. Um, we're going to be coming back with a more extensive ordinance of uh, governing wireless equipment um, in the in the near future. That Now, this isn't going to change what's going on at the high school. That cellular device that Verizon wants to put in, it's still going to go in because it was already permitted, and this code change will not be retroactive. But in the future, Verizon will have a much tougher time putting in these devices. Reporting in Monterey, Caitlin Conrad, KSBW Action News 8. Caitlin, thank you.